What's up, lads? My penis. No, I'm just joking, of course. Or am I? Anyway, we start off this episode by buying uh, Asu Okotu, good left back, and he fills in for my previous Fulham left back to make our full gold squad. Uh, then we go and buy a bronze uh, pack to achieve some fitnesses, fitness cards and contracts. And we don't really achieve anything out of that pack. Maybe a couple of contracts. Uh, some healing cards and some morale cards. Pretty pointless pack, but... Um, did the job just for what I needed. Uh, apply some uh, cards, uh, contracts, sorry. And apply one fitness card to Matt Jarvis. Uh, use some of these pointless uh, keeping cards and pace and dribbling cards. Just to get them out of my consumable pile and we go into another game. Uh, we get up against this guy, fairly low chemistry. Uh, I believe it's 60 chemistry. Um, I think this guy uh, going for a League One team maybe. I see a Gomez up front. And that Rufio uh, keeper, even though he's a 75, he plays really well. And it takes me up to about 40 minutes to break his defense down. With big Kenwin Jones uh, going 1-0 up uh, and celebrating in fashion. He comes back almost instantly to make it one all with a nice finish by Lisana Diara. Which I thought he was quite slow on this game, but clearly not just breezing past my 70-paced defenders. And uh, we get a lovely cross in there by Matt Jarvis to Kenwin Jones to head it into the net for 2-1. And uh, Asu Okoto is just hugging him because he loves him. He's a bit gay like that. Anyway, uh, we get a nice cross in here from Ricardo Fuller to Kenwin Jones yet again. Uh, scores and celebrates with a bit of a frog uh, flip, I would call it, and looks like he's kissing the ground there. Kissing the ground that he uh, that he plays amazing on, and he he uh, he scores again uh, to make it three two I believe or four two I'm not sure I think it's three two, and I didn't want him to come back in any time soon so Kenwin Jones slots it away to make it five two, and sits on the ground just looking at the fans and uh, I thought that would be offside but clearly not, uh, shot it against him uh, Rufia saves it. Back to Kenwin Jones. Jones slots it away to make it 5-2. And he didn't like it. He rage quit. Or dashboarded, I'm not too sure. It doesn't really bother. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. Because in the end, I win. Uh, gets me some coins. I don't lose DNF. And as you can see, he rage quit. Uh, I win 5-2. Uh, get some nice coins. I would have had more coins if the game had ended, of course. But not uh, to no avail. And... We go and buy, as you can see, I present John leaving there. I think he did that on purpose so he could get on video, the dirty bastard. Anyway, uh, we go and buy our Brad Friedel uh, to replace our keeper. And because Craig Gordon was letting some in, also he was out of contract. He didn't want to waste a bit of cash on him. So I buy, I buy uh, Brad Friedel in replacement of Craig Gordon. Uh, get him straight in the squad. Go f uh, after that, I go and buy a bronze pack. Yet again to go uh, to get some contracts, some fitness cards. Uh, because I only put one on them last time, so I knew they would run out after that game. Uh, it would be a, like, a quiet, repetitive pattern if I didn't change it soon. So in the next episode, uh, I start to buy some contracts and all that good stuff. Anyway, we get another pack after that. And I got quite fortunate on this pack. I got a, uh, a squad... Uh, a squad fitness, sorry, and uh, I think I went on to sell that for about 900 coins later on in uh, the next episode. And as you can see, I'm just applying some contracts to the people who need them the most. Um, got a fitness card at the end there. I think I was just going to apply it to the one that needed it the most, which I believe was Yunez Kabul, as you can see in the background. And uh, Tony Pulis was out of contract, so instead of buying another one, which I should have done... Uh, I sold him for 200 coins and went and bought a Martin Yol. Uh, 442 manager, pretty good. Known for uh, Tottenham manager a couple of years ago. And we go into another game and we get a, uh, the guy with my badge. Uh, from I'm from Scunthorpe and I was thinking if this guy may be from Scunthorpe too because he has the Scunthorpe badge or whether he just bought a random badge that looks cool. Because uh, I thought it looks pretty cool. But I was just doing it because I support Scunthorpe and... Uh, I suppose that's what was running through my head when I bought it. 
Anyway, uh, we start off this episode by uh, start off this game, sorry, by going one 0 up with a beautiful volley by Kenwin Jones, and uh, celebrating with his fans, uh, showing how badass he is because he's a bit of a legend. And then uh, we go two 0 up with a beautiful uh, right finesse shot, just lofted over the keeper to make it two 0 from uh, Ricardo Fuller. It's probably one of uh, probably like into his 20 marks now for goals, and we go three 0 up with a beautiful finish there by Ricardo Fuller yet again, celebrating with uh, uh, against the fans, just showing yet again how badass he is, and crossed over the top for um, Ricardo Fuller yet again, and a beautiful finish there with uh, his right foot. It's like it's like he's Jesus. Uh, he's scoring so many goals with that uh, finesse and right shot. Uh, I think that makes it 4-0. And he, uh, as you can see, Brad Friedel is quite unlucky to not save the third one. And Berbatov heads it away. Uh, this guy's team was a bit different, uh, I suppose. Uh, quite low chemistry. Uh, I think he had Pepe and Berbatov if you go back to the team schedule. And uh, he uses them to utilize my defense and scores with this guy. Uh, I've never really know uh, who this guy is. I think he's just some random silver that he got from a pack, maybe, or the starter pack. And that was 4-2. He made it. And Kenwin Jones wide score another one to make it his hat-trick, or I think that might have been his second. Uh, nonetheless, that makes it 5-2, and that was how that game ended. I think that was both games that ended 5-2 today. And... That'll be, at the, uh, the, that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, thanks, I'm Ryan Percent Josh. Uh, thanks for watching, have a nice day.